Foothills. What is challenging for Canadians, and especially Canadian farmers, is the Liberals triple, triple, tripling. They're crippling carbon tax, which is fueling the food affordability crisis in Canada. And now the Liberal NDP carbon tax coalition wants to triple that tax. The result of that is a typical Canadian farmer will pay $150,000 a year in carbon taxes alone. What Canadian farmer can absorb those taxes? I'll tell you, none. We are losing farms now due to bankruptcy and insolvency. When will the Prime Minister of Misery understand that his tax has to go so farmers can grow? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It seems like the party opposite is worried about cost, but never talks about the cost that we are passing on to our kids and, ga and grandkids through the impacts of climate change. Billions of dollars that are accumulating year after year. We have an emergency here, Mr. Speaker, and the party opposite is simply not telling the truth to Canadian. We're all paying for the cost of climate change and we need to find solutions they have no solutions to offer mr speaker none whatsoever thank you member for foothills you know who's misleading canadians mr speaker the liberal government when they say eight out of ten canadians are going to get more on the carbon tax rebate than they get back in reality canadian farmers get pennies on the dollar in return for the liberals farcical carbon tax rebate program canadian farmers can't afford fuel fertilizer or feed and when we lose Canadian farms that impacts every Canadian family who is struggling to put food on the table mm. is the Prime Minister prepared that Conservatives will keep the heat on and take the tax off the Honourable Minister well, let me tell you some Conservative voices who've historically supported a carbon price Preston Manning, Stephen Harper, Doug Ford's chief budget advisor testified before the Senate in 2016 saying this was the most effective thing we could do to reduce emissions. We have discovered a way to put more money in the pockets of Canadians at the same time we have an effective policy to reduce emissions. If the Conservatives are concerned about the impact on farmers, come to my community. Come talk to the farmers who've lost silos. Come talk to them about the crops they've lost. The Haver Eagles Maple Farm has lost so many of their maple trees it will take half a century for them to become profitable again under current conditions. We will be there for families. We will protect the environment no matter what. The Honourable Member for Lac saint jean Mr. Speaker, listen carefully to what the New York Post revealed this morning. Imagine New York is paying for bus tickets for asylum seekers who want to get to Roxham Road. The U.S. National Guard is even helping. With the distribution of tickets, the Americans must be laughing when they hear that Canada is negotiating to modernize the safe third country agreement. Imagine them laughing when we wonder why negotiations have been dragging on for six years. The Americans are ridic ridic ridiculing rather the federal government. Enough is enough. The minister can suspend the safe third country agreement without the Americans. When is he going to stop being laughed at? The Honourable Minister for Immigration. Mr. Speaker, the solution proposed by the MP is not a good solution. It would